Hey, what's up guys? Pissy Geek is here, and I'm back with episode 9. Last episode, uh... We had 6 Kerbals killed, including from the one in the rescue pod. LOL. So... Life has to move on, as long as we hail the 3 or the 6 dead Kerbal Knots. Um... And uh, I tried try to readjusting our orbit so we can get towards the Flopnik 1. But, uh, <laughs> we know that, okay, well, that wouldn't work, so, uh, I had alternatives, um, my other chances was, if you guys have been watching the first beginning part of the uh, last episode, uh, the rescue pod was a decent rocket, um, but, no, just say it, just admit it, it was a decent rocket, nothing was unstable, nothing was wrong, besides the fact that we didn't even have SAS, we didn't even need advanced SAS, we, all we had was just freaking rockets, that's all. And I was on full throttle the whole time, so there was no problem found, and we were fine in orbit, we were all fine. But, before we even begin, um... Today, we're going to be rendezvousing with the Saturn V Mark I that I launched 2-3 episodes ago. And I think it's time that we rendezvous with it and dock with it to get all the wives unworried and uh, get the space agency back up and running. Okay so, okay, so let's try to get this equalized. Let's get this equalized. Okay, so if I burn, if I burn T-23 seconds, let's try to get this thing up burning because I don't want it to fail. Gah! Alright, so first let's wait for this thing to get to our apoaphysis, then we can burn our periaphysis. Make it strong. Or, for time consuming sake, we could just retro this thing. There we go. Everything should be fine. 100 and 102. Shouldn't, shouldn't be fine. Should be fine. Yeah, so, okay, we'll have to wait even more. One minute. I'm not even throttled up. What the hell are you talking about? Oh crap. Well, six, five, four, two, one. Oh, wait, I forgot that does not prograde. I mean, that's not retrograde, my bad. But hey, that was a silly mistake. So everything's good so far 99 and 102. Alright, so time to launch the biggie. Um, I was about to think, okay, why, why don't we do it in lunar orbit? Uh, no, let's not end up like Neil Alden and all the other guys who died. Six other Kerbonauts. Just to show you guys, uh, I terminate the flight. Well, um, well, I'm not recording. So, uh, here it is. Six, seven, eight, including, including Kilber and, uh, Bob. So, uh, that's sad. Wow, in just eight or nine episodes, we already killed like freaking nine Kerbals, or no, eight Kerbals. God dang, it's so many Kerbals that kill that got killed. But, let's relaunch something. I like to bring back the rescue pod. And the rescue pod, um, rescue pod pod. Because it was outstanding. It's impeccable, except the fact that we didn't have enough fuel with the command module. So, the rescue pod was impeccable. Let's bring it back, because we there was no problem, it only has 29 parts. Not bad. Let's make that about 32, 33, or actually 35, including RCS. So, stage, you stay there. But what really matters is... Oh, you gotta do this, man. You gotta have more. You have RCS fuel pod. We need an RCS, um... Where is that shit? RCS fuel tank. There we are. And... We're done. <laughs> well, that's done, alright. So, uh... We need four of these. There we go. This... Surely, this won't fail. And I mean it. This will not fail. It can't. Because it's impossible to fail this mission. <laughs> okay, so... 
staging like last episode it was fine let's rename this rescue pod to oh yeah let's call this the refuel dash rescue pod refuel no let's not be i mean like if you think about that little tiny tank is not gonna refuel shit so yep let's take these out real quick um yeah poodle you could stay there but no, not that, not that. I'm sorry, but that has to go. Much better. There we go. Right, and, uh, uh, S, uh, RCS. You get back in there. Solar panels. That goes for you, too, solar panels. Um... We're also gonna try to transfer- we're gonna also have four other RCS balls for the heck of it. No, let's not do that. That'll add weight. Um... Let's try to do this here. Here's my one of my alternatives. So this is gonna be the, um... The re- How should I say it? Refuel... That's not how you spell fuel. Refuel dash... Refuel dash rescue... Pod. Or ship. Refuel that rescue ship. And we're gonna have one man in this. Just to test this. <laughs> one man. Crap. And uh, this integrity thing is quite good. It's quite, actually it's quite interesting how it's shaped. You know, it's kinda, kinda shapes like a triangle. So uh, yeah, one man inside the craft. Oh. Goodness me, bro. I'm real. I'm really. I'm frantic. I just don't want this to fail. I seriously don't. So let's not fail. Uh, I forgot to display the mission time again because, uh, wow. Because I just finished making part three. Wait a second. This is not stable. I forgot about the position. Oh wait, we're we're, showing it, so. we're screwed, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Officially, set us target. Uh, gravity turn. More gravity turn, please. Thank you very much, boosters. Shit collided with the engines. Oh fuck. Should we abort? No, we shall not abort. No, we can't abort. Should we? No. Oh yeah, I just forgot we had a poodle. Never mind. We're aborting. We are aborting for sure. Revert to launch. Thank you very much. Let's just pretend that they all lived. Because obviously they all had a parachute. So parachutes can't fail. Anyways, back there. Um... The engine somehow collided with the... I mean, the engine and this pod somehow collided. That's because we were diagonal, and yeah. So let's make sure that we were vertical first before we can try our gravity turn. Or we can make it so that the engines fire when these things separate. It'll be less danger. It'll be fast. Uh, um, this, this is your second try. We've had... We had worse than this. Oh, no wonder you were upset. You can't see anything. You can't buy He's just guessing where he's going.
Yes, it worked. Okay, so that was the problem. We're diagonal. We're on a gravity turn. Now we are a gravity turn. Is now a gravity turn. I almost clicked switch two there. So that was close. Alright, so, I don't know about you guys, but it's looking fine, it's looking alright, I guess, if I could say so. More gravity turn, more. Shit. Shit. Alright, a little bit up now. Pushing up through the atmosphere fast. So, uh, yeah, more gravity turn. This is way too much. Okay, um. Alright, so let's try. Since this has the most power. Perhaps we can try to fuel transfer everything. No, wait, no. There we go. In. Come on, go in there. Don't be shy. Alright, and in again. Ay, ay, ay. Crap, we're coming up towards Apoaphysis real quick. I could see by, their, by our vertical meter. In. In. Alright. How's it looking down here? Alright, so everything looks fine, right? Alright, so, um, a little bit quiet. It's like the last episode. Quite frantic. This thing fails. The rescue pod is no longer a rescue pod. We have to prove that we can rescue the ship even though it's not a rescue. This is a rendezvous test. Yeah, we're definitely oh, we're giving a few numbers. So, Oh, perfect. Stage. Burn that engine. What if we burn the engines now? Alright, so we're a little bit short, so looks like it's our chance. Okay, so first things first. Target this thing. We don't know it's Apple offices, but let's make it close. So first, let's make sure that our maneuver node is correct. Let's be. Let's make that a little late. There. Okay. Handy dandy. It's all good now. What are what is our altitude? Sixty what? Are you serious? 
Okay, I think I think the best way now here is to burn right now because I don't think it's gonna work. All right, so time to burn. Time to burn, to burn, 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 to burn, to burn, 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 burn. Sixty-two kilometers. Okay, and then we can just prograde this up. No, that's way too much. Alright, so, by looking at this, our rendezvous part is not gonna be so easy at all. By looking at this. Hmm. Interesting, though. Interesting ways to rendezvous. Alright, so, Halvis is on his own, obviously. He has, like, the... Shittiest view. He has the view of like the freaking docking port. Yep. You know what that yeah, it, it really looks like docking ports out right there. Oh shit. You're at the docking port. Why the docking port? Free chase cam. I need free chase cam. There we go. Free chase cam don't is actually good for orbit. For me, of course. Or we could use chase chase cam. All right, just wait till we're seventy thousand, and we're gonna we're gonna start to warp fast. So, how do you guys think about the fuel transfer technique in the beginning of the video, huh? It was quite smart, wasn't it? It actually was. That was a very good plan to actually field cross feed while you're at launch and you know, okay, well we need more boosts, so we boosted. Alright, about to be 70k. Now we can actual time warp towards our... Hmm. My guess was to take it to the moon, but... No, let's not take that to the moon. RCS is looking good though. Alright, set us target again. Alright, so we're all in even orbit. We have to make sure that our periaphysis is above this because, uh, let's be in a little bit of a higher orbit for this thing because, um, looking at this, I'm not even sure. Perhaps we can burn towards the target. No, no, no. Okay, so we need to return. We need to go pro on this one. Hmm. Huh. So this is a bit of a maneuvering ballet, and I should come back with you guys once I get a freaking approach with this thing. Right, so yeah. All right, this don't look too good. I mean, like our orbit's clearly. Um, I switched spacecraft by the way to the Saturn V Mark One. Um, this don't look too good at all. <laughs> uh, we have to be precise. Be precise. Okay, well. So where are we gonna get here? T my. Oh, we've been out there. Okay, well we passed it. Have we? Yes, we've passed it, but. Let's try to get back in that position again. Alright, so, uh... If we burn towards our target... I mean, like, towards our target, please. 
No, wait, no. Our target's way too fast. We're facing that way, right? Yeah. If we use our RCS towards our target, what would happen? I mean, away from our target. Alright, that's worse. That's even worse. Um, two kilometers though. That is not the thing I'm looking for. So once we approach though, that's, that's pretty much the area where we're gonna get a good grip upon that target. There's a huge lag, there's a huge lag, hold on. Hold on real quick. Gotta keep a little bit collective. Alright, so, FPS, you're back. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Not this time, we're not gonna rendezvous with this FPS. Where on earth is our location? Oh, we're getting close. We need to go retro. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna be back once we dock, because clearly, with this FPS sucking... Oh, I can actually see that is right there. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna dock in this or rendezvous quickly with the circumstances. Okay, peace out. Okay, so guys, I'm back, and uh, we've successfully docked with the... Uh, with the Saturn V Mark I. I had to maneuver both ships as well. And it was quite easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and you know, round even docking is kind of my thing er when things are in the right way. Now, obviously, we know that the positioning was kind of poor, but we managed to uh, dock together. And uh, reasons were I can't really dock with the um, a Flopnik in the uh, earlier part. I'm not sure why. There's just minor, there's just way too much problems for me to dock with a Flopnik. I don't know why. I just, ser I seriously don't know. But uh, for some reason, I'm able to dock with freaking with a freaking ship, but not even rendezvous with an uh, orbital satellite. But that doesn't matter anymore because uh, the docking part was was tricky because we were docking in the dark, literally like mid time midnight dark, and we had no lights, so it was all by guess. It was all by heart. I had to use the docking maneuver mode, you know, instead of using the staging mode because it it was more sensible to use the docking port mode. And uh, we're gonna get this thing home all in one piece. Besides, we're gonna have these two capsules come home in one. Instead of one going out for another, because we don't have the fuel to do that, so... Yeah. Pretty much we're all gonna go home with this. So first, what we're gonna do though... We're gonna... Here, this is what we're gonna do. Close that, and we're gonna open up our RCS tank. We're gonna try to get some fuel in... From the other RCS balls, and perhaps that will give us a bit of... A bit of wealth. So, decouple that shit. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna have these two capsules come home at the same time. And by doing that, we should be fine. Retrograde. We're gonna come home in the bright side. And we're gonna have to make this quick as well. Alright, so, um, by the way, Halvis Kerman, you completed the first rendezvous in docking, my friend. You're a genius. I'd like to reward him by somehow. Somehow I'd like to reward him, and uh, yeah, we're... Hold on. Oh, we're gonna land... Oh, never mind. I thought we were gonna land by the Space Center. Actually, we might. We might land by the Space Center. We go low enough. I'm guessing that... Tw thir no, 30... 20... 29. Okay, we're good. 
Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, prepare your butts. We're about to re-enter with two capsules at a time. But for safety's sake, for safety's sake, we're gonna decouple this shit right here. And we all know what was the obvious answer. It's, uh, I've never done this before. I don't think anyone, I repeat, anyone have done this before. I've never seen anyone done this before, so... It's quite, it's gonna be quite risky because I'm not sure if these docking ports are gonna separate any time. It's an Ori moment. So let us initiate the parachute soon. But we have to take risks. And last time when I rendezvoused with this ship, the Saturn V Mark I, I took a lot of risk, but it paid off. Because uh, when I was doing it with the orbital satellite, I was a bit of a wuss. And uh, I didn't take enough risk to successfully do um, a rendezvous docking. and Because uh, fuel was a bit of a problem. So I thought, okay, well, scratch that. We're going to do another launch that would probably send up um, a refuel pod or a rescue ship. And like its name, the name says it all. Where was it? Rename. Rescue ship. Yep. The name says it all. Okay, so first to prevent from... The spacecraft tearing, I really want one side to be facing once. Uh, it's gonna be Ori. Or we can just view on this. No, no, not Alvis. Jared, no, not Jared. Jerry, you could see that part of the spacecraft. You too, Joe. That's really, that'll be a quite a view. The cribbles were a little bit taller, though. Oh, cool. We have a prograde vector. Who knows? <laughs> Going back for the surface. All right. So first, let's let's see where we're gonna land. It looks with this, we're gonna land around here where my mouse is. Okay. So I'm right now figuring out a fast way to get down here without having our ships to be torn apart. And uh, sorry, the video is a little bit long, but uh, I managed to do some cut parts because I think it'll be a better solution. Because like other YouTubers, um, I you know I'm taking their advice from. Just doing a whole let's play, no cuts, about one or two cuts and that's it, but some some of the cuts are accidental. And I'm running low on disk space and I'm gonna get a new um, hard drive. So one hard drive is for the um, games and programs because I have a shitload of games and the, um, the other one is for the recordings. And hopefully those work. Alright, so back to task. Um, integrity, not a problem. So, uh, if you guys ever seen people do this before, give me a link in the description because I'd like to see them do this. I've never seen it. Actually, to me, I don't think this is special at all. I mean, like, to me, I think it is, but because uh, I'm not sure if these things are going to stay docked. Because, uh, keep in mind, I've never never seen anyone done this before. Yay, we're all rescued. Halvis Kerman? Man, you're my man. You're my man. You just saved three other Kerbal's life. Oh, four actually, including yourself. So, uh, initiating parachute in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Delay. Actually, let's pop out one drogue shoot. Yes, one drogue shoot. Let's pop out two drogue shoots because we want to do it slowly. Pop out all the drogue shoots. All the shoots. There we go. See, we're all happy family now, are we? I just hope that we all come home as family, of course. So, mission time was uh, basically just four hours. Wow, four hours? What? Just four hours. Shame. It only took him four hours just to duck while we were going way too fast. We're going way too... Thank God. Oh. Wow. That escalated quickly. So, um... Yeah. So, let's all clap hands. We, after two failures, and about to be the third because of these Saturn V people, we, they almost wasted all their fuel on, um, on the satellite of rendezvousing with it. And poor positioning was the problem. And uh, Halvis Kerman, all credit to you. The three J's, Jerry, Jerry, and Joe, you're going to have to take lessons from Halvis. But first, let's evacuate everyone. No, no, 
that's not evacuate, that's EVA, but let's try to evacuate everyone, and I'm not talking about EVAs, EVA stands for extravehicular activity, I'm talking about rescuing them. And uh, yeah, after two failures, clap our hands, we finally made a successful mission. A rescue mission, yes, something to dock with, rendezvous, and we also brought up some smiley faces to the Kerbal's wives. <laughs> But not for the ones who died, of course. But at least we solved the problems, most of them. So let's go back to the tracking station. I'm running low on disk space, so let's make this quick. Oh, by the way, I just made my own uh, web browser. You guys can download in the description below and put all the download links for the web browser, the Barashka, everything. So yeah, so we're gonna. Uh, we're not that far from the um, space center. We're gonna recover the ship. We did it, man. We did it. All we have left is our moon mission that's going to be there permanently. Lunar Base 1. Uh, that's the first. That's not even the Lunar Base. That's just a little settlement that, that's temporary. What's Max, Max Absorb Guardment? Okay, well, anyways. I hope you guys enjoy the successful, finally a successful video after two, after two Ori failures. Was it two failures? Um, yeah, two failures because of uh, two ships, um, you know, six Kerbals died. As we all know, we have a few of the real Kerbals that we um, lost, lost, uh, yeah, Bob, he died a long time ago, Yamamoto was a test, Goddard, Neil, Kilber, Nelny, Dunzer, Ribley, and Hedgard, they were all the lost Kerbals during action. And, uh, salute to them. Let's hire our seventh, I think this is our seventh, yes, if I correct it, our seventh group of astronauts. Look how many Kerbals we have to kill. <laughs> Alright, so I just hope that we don't lose that many. At least make it so we don't lose until we have to scroll down, up and down. Okay, well, enough chit-chat. Space Geekish here, signing off.